This unknown, low-risk Streets of Tarkov loot run can make you millions while avoiding PvP. The entire loot run is inside the Klimnov shopping mall, and the loot run can be accessed from four different starting points. The first one, and my favorite, is through Kostin on the side of the mall, across the street from the Terra Group building. Most people don't know about this loot run, so you can run it either as a PMC or as a scav. So this is the first entrance. This door doesn't go anywhere. Over here, this door is where the loot run starts. All other entrances are inside the mall, and you can start at the very front of the mall. So we're entering the mall through the front. We're coming up on the second entrance, right here, with a dead scav stash. Make sure to loot that. So here's the second entrance right here. This back room. The third entrance is right down the hall from the second. There's this toolbox right here, don't forget to loot that. Right here is the third entrance. Now the fourth entrance is upstairs, right in between the Papa John's and the ramen shop next to the Coiner Grill. I recommend running this one with a budget kit, even with a pistol if you want, but with some range, so nothing like a shotgun, because you probably are going to encounter either sniper scavs or just scavs at a distance. If you happen to get tracked by players in here, now you know the four different entrances and exits, but there also are second floor and third floor entrances and exits on the two different staircases next to the elevators. Now this is an online raid and we got a really good spawn, so we're running straight for the costume. You never know what might spawn in the lockers, so might as well check them. So that door leads to the back room. This is part of the loot run. We have a couple of shells which might spawn loose loot. There's also some filing cabinets. Don't be discouraged if you don't think you're getting good loot. There is a variety of different loot crates in here, and a variety of different boxes and loose loot spawns that can make you a lot of money. Over on the other corner, make sure you hit this duffel bag with the flashlight sitting on top of it. But all for this room. We're going to head back out to the elevator room. Because there is a staircase right here. Now, the right hand door is a breach door. The left hand door actually opens. The right hand door doesn't actually breach. It's locked. In the stairwell, we have a dead scav stash. Can be quite profitable. Full stack of M80, that's nice. And 31 rounds of AP45. Nice. So we're just going to come up here really quick, check the ground for any loose loot spawns. You never know what's going to spawn and head back down to the second floor and go through this door. Now we're still in this elevator area and sometimes there are tool boxes and duffel bags that spawn around this area. So keep an eye out. Through this door, back into the main part of the mall. We're gonna look around a little bit for some loose loot. Don't believe that door can be opened just yet. Maybe you need a key, I don't know. Neither can that one. I don't think this one can either. A lot of these doors are just for show for the time being. I think this register right here is locked, so unless you get the key, just keep moving forward. Yeah. Gab down. It was locked too. 
This is the next part of the loot run in his father's and son's clothing store right here. But we're going to check out this toy store really quick. Loot the scav. See what else is around. For the most part, we're not going to count the scavs loot as part of the loot run for consistency's sake. We will check the floor in the toy store and maybe a duffel bag or tool set if they spawn. Oh, there's one right there. Wouldn't recommend hanging out in the windows for too long. Never know what's going to happen. Here's another scav. And just missed him. See if we can get this kill without putting ourselves in too much danger. And twice there. Not bad. We can get a easy kill shot. There we go. Over 60 durability. Kind of worth taking, honestly. Got the extra slot. Take the helmet too, that can be worth something. Alright. Headed to Father's and Son's clothing store. So out to the back here is where the other elevator rooms are. And there's another staircase at this elevator room as well. Along with typically some good loot. So toolbox right here. I think this one's 100% spawn, not sure. And then there's a scav stash in the elevator, which people probably don't know about. Only an azimut today, or umka, I mean. Take a moment to uh, boost our metabolism skill. Why not? Probably should have checked that with my gun out first before walking over here, drinking a hot rod, but seems clear. All these doors over here aren't Openable except for this one. This is to the staircase. Nice little toolbox down here, see if we can get anything good out of here. Fire steel, not bad. This is that fourth entrance that I was talking about in between Papa John's and the ramen shop. So if you ever find yourself up on the second floor for whatever reason and you want some loot, just come back here and start the loot run from back here. We're going to head back down the stairs. Make sure it's all clear and everything. And down here is another dead scab stash. So, we got three in total so far. And I believe there's a fourth one as well. Nice VHS. That ought to bring in some cash. Wrong door. Same thing on this one. One of them's a breach door, the other one's open. You can make a lot of accidental noise by doing that, so just be careful. Speaking of, definitely somebody out in the middle. Not a AI breaking glass. Ooh, tool set. That's some money. Heck loot. Not bad. Alright, so, if this guy knows what he's doing at all, he has a chance to kind of pin us in here, so I'm going to try to get the advantage on him and take some shots at him before he gets the idea of where I am. And, well, I missed that headshot, so hit that one. It wasn't a headshot, though. So this seems to be a player scav. 
We're going to play this a little bit aggressively because the point of this video is to do the loot run. Check this dead body scav right here. Dead scav stash. Wait for some audio cues. See if this guy pushes us. Oh, he is. Oh, he's tossing a nade. I think he came back down though. There, there he is. Alright, I just dropped him, but he gave me a heavy bleed <laughs> in my stomach. I'm wearing stomach armor, so... Probably did some damage to my armor too. Heal up really quick, and we'll see what our kill has for us. I'm not back to full yet, but I'll heal up the rest later. Ooh, that's an SVD I see. Yeah, I'll get rid of the SKS, take the SVD instead. A lot more. That's more M80 for us. Nice. Looks like he zeroed his armor. And unfortunately, he didn't really have anything good except for the M80 and the SVD, so... We're gonna head back to the dead scav stash, see what is left in here. Well, nothing really good, so we'll head back into the main part of the loot run, which is this back area right here. And this back area has the potential to spawn all kinds of stuff. So loose loot in this room, I've seen lots of different duffel bag spawns and toolbox spawns back in this area. They're not here today. We do have this tech crate right here, though. For luck, you will get some good tech loot out of it. But we're not too lucky today, unfortunately. Check the shelves. Go ahead and hit the first room on the left. This one has another tech crate, I believe. Uh, looks like a toolbox, too. No loose loot. Duffel bag. Maybe I didn't see a toolbox. Ooh, nice. A sewing kit. That's a decent chunk of change. Go ahead and Put that in the secure container. I just realized I had that helmet sitting in my backpack when I could have been wearing it. Make sure to check this jacket right here. On to the next room on the left. This one's got a number of filing cabinets. And also a bunch of... Oop, that's a big rubber band. Alright, let's head back in. There's a bunch of loose loot that can spawn over here. I've found lots of tech... Oh, another one. Okay. I found lots of tech supplies and stuff like water filters and that kind of stuff back here. So, make sure you check it. But we got a bunch of filing cabinets. And it's a great time for me to top off the mags again. That was a director's office key. So, decent amount of cash. Ooh, beard oil. Okay. So now we're actually hitting our stride as far as some of the more valuable loot goes. Not gonna take those cigarettes. Nothing in there. More cigarettes. Ooh, unexamined key. That could be expensive. Check it out later. Diary, okay. Nice, that's some good money. Another unexamined key. Okay, not too bad. Hope those are worth something. Go ahead and take a moment to uh, get hydrated. Reorganize a little bit. 
Now, another part of this loot run that people probably don't know about is that you can access the other side of this backroom area by jumping over this area. And even if you're overweight or low level in strength, you can get back over there very easily by using this pole as elevation. So you can't just jump directly on that, but if you run like this and then jump, you'll be able to get back up there. Easy peasy. Back in this room, we got another tech crate and potential for more loose loot. I don't see any right now, but you never know what spawns, so check it out. Okay, well, that's a lot of weight, but hopefully it'll pay off a little bit. We're getting pretty full now, although there's still potential for more loot, so... We'll keep looting and uh, see if there's anything else we can find. I don't think you can open that one. Or that one. Or even that one. But if we come back here, there's a tool set right there. Nice. Thermostat. Not bad. Head back into the main part of the mall. And, of course, there is this other tool set right to my left up here. That's where I killed that player scab, right over there. Gonna go ahead and quickly clear my memory, because I was feeling some major performance loss. And I think it's about time to head towards Extract. Now, my Extract is on the other side of the map. I have the courtyard site extracts right now. I've never been to crash site yet. This is like my fourth or fifth PMC streets raid of the wipe. So I'm not super familiar with the PMC extracts yet. However, I've been to courtyard and damaged house a thousand times last wipe. So let's keep things simple and let's head over there. Pop up our food and energy real quick and we'll head out. I'm going to try to head towards Pinewood because there's a lot of cover over there. Not going through it, but just sticking to the perimeter. And I'm getting shot at. The scab, I can hear him just barely. And he's shooting me through the grass, but... Can't even see him. I bet I can get up on here. It's just whether or not I'm exposing myself while I'm doing it. I don't want to get head tapped because I'm standing out in the open. Yeah, maybe I should just uh, deal with him when I can actually see him. Alright. Oh, uh, God, I just love losing all my stamina to a big ripper band like that. You gotta be careful about those. There's a couple different sniper scavs who stand on top of the malls, so if you're unfamiliar with the area. Be careful. That's... Oh, okay. Don't know where that came from, so I'm just gonna run. Oh, I hear something. Oh, Scavia. There's a dead scav right there on the staircase, so I'm just gonna keep moving. Big stutter there. Hopefully the rest of this raid isn't just filled with rubber bands, but... With the state of these servers... I really can't be sure. Okay, yep, there's definitely some action going on in Pinewood. Try to avoid it for the most part. 
stay away from the windows. Ironic standing next to a window and sticking my head in front of it. Trying to find my backpack. Alright, keep moving. And another big rubber band, okay. Well, do what you can with what you got. Stop here again. For a second, regain some stamina, drop the bag. An easier time dropping the bag up here than jumping up and picking it up from there than trying to pick it up off the ground once I'm already up there, so. Go ahead and re top up this mag. One here. Now, this is the only downside about this loot run is that. If you spawn close to it and your extract is far away, you might want to bring a mule along with you or something like that because I thought I saw movement right there. You might be pretty far from your extract by the time you're all looted up. If you spawn on the other side of the map, the positives to it are that you can make your way over to Klimnov, loot the entire Klimnov mall, and then head out to your extract closer to Klimnov, so definitely some pros and cons. I'm going to take cover back here, although this can be a hot building sometimes. We'll try to uh, keep our head on a swivel when it comes to these windows. I'm not hearing anything inside the building, so I think we're good. You know what? Might as well head to that grocer over there. I need it for the sausage quest anyway. Break up our movement a little bit. If there's anybody camping by the uh, crash train, then at least if they engage us over here, we have a chance to make our movement more dynamic. Take a little break in here. So, you gotta weigh risk and reward here. So I haven't, I don't have any, I haven't found any hugely expensive items like Bitcoin or anything like that, but I found a lot of valuable items that are under the 100k range, and at the same time, I haven't ran into a single player. One player is Gav, no players. I'm gonna do something really stupid and try to loot this body right here. Please don't shoot me in the face. Hey, well, it's already looted. At least that saves me the effort. Oh my god, dude, that must have been so delayed. Holy. Now, I don't really know if that's a player or a scab, but I left my backpack out here, so quickly get back in. And oh my god. Hopefully we're back in for good, and I didn't fall over and die behind a wall, so. 
That's a positive. Break up her movement. Check behind in case that came from behind. I don't think it did because we didn't hear the gunshot, but probably on top of the courtyard. There's some running to my right right there, but pretty sure it was far. That was scary. I didn't see anything on, on top of the... Oh my god, these rubber bands, man. They're gonna get me killed. Decent cover right here. Still some audio to my right going on. Doubt that's where the shot came from, though, because I didn't hear a gunshot. Just the whiz by my head. Pick it back up, keep moving. Yeah, at least that one didn't push me back 30 feet. Damaged house I have, so we're going to hook a left right here. And uh, I think there is something up there. Oh. Just a scav, AI. Painted the wall red a little bit. Basically out of stamina here. I'm in cover though, so I should be good to uh, make it all the way to extract with no problems. Alright, and I made it out. Let's check out the loot real quick. Not bad. And for the hell of it, we're doing a sped up time lapse of me calculating all the money I made during this loot run. So, that's here. Seven hundred and twenty-five K is the total, and thank you guys very much for watching. Good luck with your loot raids.